Hello everybody, today we will uh, render your sketch with uh, Copic markers. Here I have uh, uh, two sets, one uh, warm set, one uh, grey uh, cool set uh, of Copic markers. As you can see they have uh, two sides, uh, thick and thin side. Uh, so Copic, yeah, here Copic markers. I also have uh, another set of uh, colorful markers, also from a Copic brand. Today we will use uh, uh, the blue and brown uh, markers, just uh, different types. Uh, those markers have a very interesting end. Also, touch fine set. I like to mix different, uh, different brands. Uh, try different uh, results, achieve different results. Uh, so let's start with a quick render. I made this uh, uh, sketch before, so to skip the uh, pencil part, let's just start with a, with a render with a coloring. Uh, so I'm starting with the gray tone, uh, cool gray tone to create the metal part. Uh, always, uh, I will suggest always start with uh, a brightest tone. So, in case you, you decide to create a darker or brighter material, you have a kind of space to to work on on this material with a, with a darker tone after that. So, with brown marker, I just color it uh, the the base of this bottle. Uh, the to get a kind of wooden wooden bottle and with same marker with same tone I'm uh, doing layer by layer to create a, a more deep more darker tone with a cool uh, cool gray darker marker you can create a more contrast contrast feeling of the metal part so if you will see around you you probably can find some metal part and see how reflections how lighting uh, playing on those parts different metals have different contrasts different uh, reflections so here like this and with the with a darker tone uh, of the marker I can do the uh, the texture the wooden texture here so this is a quick review you can see this uh, uh, video below separately so and then let's start uh, quickly to sketch some knives it's also a combination of metal and uh, wood uh, so the metal, different metals, as I mentioned, they have different uh, uh, type of reflection, different type of uh, absorbing uh, the light source, and uh, the shape of the of the metal part actually uh, creating those reflections. As you can see here, I made different uh, different metal blades. And I already um, color the wooden handle with different different colors to create feeling of uh, different kind of uh, wood materials. So as you can see, I also doing the uh, those lines wooden texture in different ways like this, the horizontal, the elliptic, and uh, another one, horizontal as well. With darker darker marker, uh, I always like to create a very contrast uh, contour. And uh, here, with uh, this cool marker, cool gray tone, Okay, kind of shadow. It's not really re realistic, and actually, we are not trying to create a, 
realistic render here is just a, a presentation of uh, initial ideas. Uh, if you are talking about presentation, design presentation, so this just initial quick presentation of uh, shapes and materials. So as you may know, the you can see around also the metal parts uh, could reflect the, the sky, so this is the reason why I add some blue tone uh, on top of my uh, metal blades. And again, this darker tone uh, of gray marker, I continue to increase the thickness and contrast of uh, contour around each of those, those knives like this a little bit here to make it to make it even more sharper I'm talking not about the knives I'm talking about the illustration this render to make it really sharp really uh, clear to understand and with the really dark almost uh, black marker I can create uh, uh, made this reflection from some object this near the near the knife like to pretend that we have some dark object okay looks quite good but we need uh, a little bit more uh, shadow here. For this shadow, I will use the. Uh, actually, I'm using the the pencils. Uh, always try to combine different uh, different tools, different materials, markers and pencils. Uh, there are actually a few more techniques that we will I will talk about them after that in my next videos. So the good thing about pencil that with pencil you can could make create quite accurate details and also uh, increase contrast and uh, create more uh, dark and colorful um, areas. Okay, almost done. The last last detail is. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm using the white marker to create a bright reflection from the uh, some lighting source. Just few few touches, and immediately you can see all our uh, product pop out from the from the page and make it. It makes really uh, bright and shiny. Again, this pencil, I want to even make it darker a little bit. And with the black marker, black liner, to finalize, to finish the sketch with this very sharp, very, very clean contour. So thanks for watching, uh, please uh, subscribe.